just thought I would start the vlog off. I haven't done one in a while, well since Christmas time, um, two weeks, we're two weeks into January now. Um, yeah, obviously January is just not like a month where a lot's happening. Um, this is actually, today's vlog is just kind of going to be, um, I'm doing a kind of hike in Schlieve Bloom um, with my brother. Um, I basically am copying Barbara again. <laughs> as I always am. Um, Barbara no those bands no problems on here did uh, a few weeks ago a hike uh, in Schlieve Bloom with um, her camera husband Dave and I just thought it looked really good and I actually just wasn't aware of it at all so um, I'm now copying her and going to explore for myself. Um, yeah I've really is absolutely fine living her best life I decided to give her till the 4th of February off. She's getting the dentist on the 4th of February. Um, and I'm just like always kind of, I'm just a bit concerned that there's something not quite right there. So I want to give her till the 4th off at least until uh, the dentist has checked her out and make sure that there's nothing, you know, sore or kind of, yeah, sore there. So, um, yeah, and it also like at this time of year, I mean, a lot of the times it's so cold in the evenings or it's like just starting to frost that I actually think I'm kind of like okay well maybe actually it'd be more worth my while to go to the gym where you know it's not frosty and not bitter cold I'm not outside and um, then go to the yard where chances are I'll get there I'll be too cold it'll be starting to frost I'll be worried about the ground and we just won't end up doing anything so yeah that's kind of what's going on um I'm excited to see what Schlieve Blue is like. I just actually can't believe I wasn't even aware of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, going exploring.
Okay, I just thought I would end the vlog here. Um, so Schlieve Bloom and the Glen Barrow walk way of the Glen Barrow loop that we did yesterday was absolutely gorgeous, would highly recommend it. Um, it's a really short walk, I think it's only like five or six kilometres, I think max takes two hours to do and it's very doable, it's very beginner friendly. Um, yeah, and it's just like the gorgeous, the waterfall's lovely, there's nice scenery. Um, and it's just, yeah, really, really nice. The paths are, it's well signposted and there is like kind of boardwalks and stuff. So um, it's easy to walk on. It's easy like on the knees and the, uh, yeah, on the knees basically and um, ankles and all that. So yeah, really recommend it. Um, the only thing is the parking is a bit of a nightmare. Um, it's a very, very tight car park. Um, there is like barely any spaces and the road into it is kind of like if one car is coming down and then another car is coming up one of them's going to have to reverse there's just not enough room so that was the only kind of thing that maybe you might want to be mindful of like either get there early or go on a day when it's not busy like a midweek day if you've got the opportunity um other than that like would highly highly recommend um yeah, like we usually go to Wicklow, so it kind of feels nice to be exploring somewhere a bit different and exploring a new mountain range. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone, hope you enjoyed if you watched. Um, I'd love to hear if you've got any kind of recommendations on walks to do or loops to do in Schlieff Bloom. I know there's a good few. Um, or let me know if you do actually walk it, what, what you think. Um, yeah, I'll chat to you in my next one. Bye.